Welcome to the second volume of the Briefcase Essential series on cash flow for women in business. My name is Susan Spencer. If you have not seen volume one, I suggest you check it out before viewing volume two so that you already have a good idea of what I am describing as cash flow. Look at the chart again one more time from volume one, just to refresh your memory as to what the things are that are going into your business and the costs that are going out of your business. The most important source of funds flowing into your company should be those from sales of your products or services. Without sales, you cannot stay in business. Cash flow is always front and center because to run a business, you need money to pay your obligations. And most of that money you will generate will come from your efforts in sales. To maximize your potential cash flow and in effect stretch each dollar, send out invoices the same day that the product or services are delivered. Do I care when my customer pays me? Sure I do. Because the longer it takes for money to come into your company, the less cash flow you have to work with. If you have employees, do they care when they get paid? If you have a landlord and pay rent, does he or she care when they get paid? If you have a telephone, does the phone company care when you pay the bill? Of course you know the answers to all of these. So here is your cash flow issue, front and center. You're paying your operating bills no longer than 30 days. And if, if you have a retail customer, for example, Walmart or department stores, they're gonna pay you in 60 to 90 days. So where's the cash gonna come from to pay your regular costs when you need to pay them in 30 days? When you're not going to be getting money from your customer for 60 to 90 days? The answer is you're gonna run out of money unless you have other sources of money coming into your business at the same time. My first encounter with cash flow problems occurred in my first business. I produced and sold my own line of tennis dresses. The supplier who made my dresses required me to pay him 30 days after I received the dresses. The stores I sold, some of them Saks and Neiman Marcus for example, they paid my company in 60 to 90 days. No one ever warned me that this was a disaster waiting to happen if I got busy and got large orders. Because the larger the orders got, the more money I was waiting for while still having to pay my supplier in 30 days. And that's what happened. I grew too fast and did not have enough cash flow to cover all my costs because my customer was paying me in 60 days later than I needed to pay my bills. So what happened to this growing, successful, fabulous business. I stopped shipping the stores because I ran out of cash. They canceled all their orders and I ruined my reputation in the business. That's why I'm so passionate about cash flow. It matters. It's critical that you understand it because if you don't, you might end up like I did, starting a business that takes off and by growing faster than the cash flow you have to cover the growth, you will destroy your company. I learned a painful and costly lesson, but I never made it again. So what did I do after my first business? I actually thought about cash flow up front before I started the company. It was a business where my customers would pay me before I needed to pay my suppliers. This is called positive cash flow. I have given you an example of what this looks like on the chart. If you read my book, Briefcase Essentials, you will get a full description of how cash flow tripped me up in my first business and how I managed to get my customers to pay me faster than I had to pay my suppliers in my second business. It's a great strategy and you can follow it. So what do you need to know about cash flow on the customer sales side of your business? 
Firstly, figure out what you need to do to have positive cash flow. Secondly, understand who your customers will be and know in advance, which I didn't know, how fast they will pay you. Will you get paid in seven days, 15 days, 30 days, 60 days, or later? You must collect your receivables effectively by following up and don't be afraid to turn away a customer that consistently pays you late. I did it many times and never looked back. The next volume I will talk about ways to add to your cash flow by using loans, lines of credit, and credit cards. So don't miss it. It will give you a whole new way of looking at borrowing money to grow your business. And it might not be as scary as you think it is.